Right, what's up everyone? Welcome to this training. So today's topic is there we go. Today's topic is making sales versus building a business, right? Two very different things and actually in the beginning I thought, you know, that they were the same thing, right? Then I realized the hard way that that is not. But I'm gonna basically tell you hey I'm gonna tell you kind of like when like in, at which stage of, of your journey you're going to focus on making sales and at which stage you're going to focus on building like a, like a real long-term brand, right? What's up, Adam, Juan Carlos, Karen? All right. So kind of like in the beginning when I, like when I first started, I thought that I, I didn't really come to the internet with a focus of, hey, I want to build a long-term business. I want to build a brand. I just wanted to make money in the internet, right? That's the only thing I wanted to do. So... I started focusing on generating sales and, and, and getting clients and I started sending messages on Facebook and Facebook groups to get clients. I was selling like a website service back then where I built a website for people for free and I made a, an affiliate commission when they bought the hosting service, something like that, right? The point is that at that stage, I was just, at that stage in my journey, you know, when I first started, I was just focusing on, on getting sales and making, uh, you know, money. And um, it was good and bad. Good because it allowed me to, you know, make money to keep reinvesting on building my business. And it also, man, that dog is gonna. <laughs> and also um, because it started getting me like the fun. It started teaching me the fundamentals of how the internet worked, right? So in the beginning, I was just focusing on making sales. But if I stopped making sales, I didn't really have anything. Right. I, I don't know if it happens to you guys that, you know, like you have a business that's producing sales, producing income, but the next month you're kind of like feeling like, what am I going to do? Like if I don't keep making sales, like, or, or focusing my, or, or investing my energy, my focus on making sales, then I feel like I don't have a business. I don't know. Does that happen to you that, that you feel that you're making sales, but you don't, you don't have a business. At least it did happen to me. And, um, so, so there's a big difference between the two, right? Making sales and, and building a business. So in the beginning, I think that you have to learn how to make sales because that's going to make you money, right? That you can keep reinvesting on your business. And it's also going to tell you what kind of people buy from you, what kind of offers work, what kind of audiences work. It's going to give you a bunch of information. But at the same time, you should always be focusing on, on, on building a long-term business, right? So you got to think, like, how can I make this business that's making sales into a long-term brand? You should always have that in, in a part of your brain, right? The fact or the idea that you want to build a long-term business. Because if all you're doing is producing sales every single day, but you're not really building an audience, you're not really creating, like, a movement or a, or a community, one day you will, you know, just get burned out burned out and, and feel like you know like for some reasons your sales went down and you feel like you don't have a business right and, and that's very it's very tricky because i've also seen like people you know like people that come to the internet they start running ads they get lucky and they start making a bunch of sales so they quit their job and then two months later they stop making sales because their ads stop working and now they're in a really tough position because they quit their job they basically stopped receiving that income stream from their job and now they're kind of like stuck figuring out what to do because now they're not making sales online right so when you just focus on making sales and sales and sales and that's it right then once things go south or when things stop working you will be in a point where you feel like you have many you don't have anything and you have to start from scratch now, like I told you, I did get started that way, but then I transitioned when I was in a position to do it to just focusing on building a business and a brand. So, like I told you, it's okay if you're just making sales right now, but remember that's a short-term strategy. It's a, it's a short-term game. You have to focus on, on building an audience, on building a movement, and building products that people want to buy, not just because they are winning products, but also because you know people find them valuable and, and people like what the f what the product represents and they like how the product makes them feel and so on and so forth right so 
let me just see. Um, yeah, that's. I have a man. This dog is freaking crazy. So I have like life of seed. He says yes, that's what's happening to me right now. I'm making sales, but I don't have a business structured up, right? So that's. I mean, you don't want to stop making sales, right? It's not that you just want to pause your ads if you're making sales and you're making money. But you wanna you wanna have that running, but at the same time, go and take a notebook and and actually like start breaking down like what your business is about, like what's gonna be the structure of your business. Uh, start writing down like what's your long term strategy. Because once the sales go down, man, I'm telling you, you wanna have like you wanna have something. Now, the internet is like it changes a lot. There's a lot of updates, and you wanna make sure that they have something stable. And and I can tell you that the, the most the best way to to have stable income in the internet is to have an audience, right? An audience that you know that trusts your business, trusts you, and they want to buy from you multiple times. That's the best way. Like when you have an email list, a list of emails of like twenty thousand people, or when you have like a Facebook group with twenty thousand people, or when you have like an Instagram account with fifty thousand followers, or a YouTube channel with twenty thousand subscribers. Like that's having. I mean that that's like having something it's an audience right it's people that you can just create a record a video really quickly for free it doesn't cost you anything to record a video you publish it and people see it right the same people uh or maybe an Instagram account for your fashion brand you already have 50,000 followers you make a post it doesn't cost you anything to make a post and thousands of people see the post right and that's how you make consistent income every single month. That's how you build a long-term brand, by building an audience and adding meaning to your products and services. You can make sales really quickly when you, know, when you find like a hot product or a quote-unquote winning product and you launch ads on Facebook and you start getting sales, right? You start seeing the sales. But I'm telling you, that's a short-term game because you can't imagine how many hot products I've found in the past years, how many of them, and they, they, I mean, they last literally, like, if you are aggressive on the product, like, spend a ton of money on the product to advertise it, it's going to last, like, 30 days or, th or 40 days, right? Uh, it's, not like, it's not like you find a hot product that makes you sales right now. It's not like it lasts two years. It's, it doesn't happen like that. It doesn't work like that because people copy you and the ads get messed up and the product has a life cycle and everything. So, I, I th I, like, I think you should... You should kind of like bo focus on both, but always, always know that the best and most and the safest way to build a business in the internet is by building a brand because there's no worse feeling in the world than, you know, seeing that you were making really well a lot of sales and when they went down, you feel like you don't have anything, like you have to start from scratch and there's absolutely no security that the next month you're going to do well as well. Um, let me just see. By by the way, guys, I didn't pin my my comment. I just pinned the comment. So for those of you guys that are just getting here, the topic making is making sales versus building a business, and um, very different things. And I think that if you want to survive in the internet, literally for the next five or ten years, and not just do this for three months, you gotta focus on building a brand. And I know that that's kind of like a broad concept, build a brand. What does that even mean? In a nutshell, it just means build an audience of people, build a following that, that wants to buy from you because they trust you, because they like how your products or services makes them feel. And they, they, they want to be your customer because of what your brand represents, not just because they saw that you have a, the next cooking gadget, right? And anyone can copy that product. So that's really what it means. By the way, guys, if you're getting here or if you were already here and you want, you're interested in working with us, my team and I, to help you grow your e-commerce business, depending on the stage that you are in, like we have clients that start with us and have a nine to five job and can only invest two or three hours per day building their e-commerce business. We made a personalized game plan for them for the next 90 days that they can implement working on their nine to five and we ha we've had dozens of success stories where normal people, you know, that have nine to five jobs are able to produce basically the same or more income than their job with their e-commerce business. Then we have some clients 
that are of course more, of course more advanced that start working with us generating a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a day, and we quickly help them scale to over ten thousand dollars a day with Facebook and Instagram ads, right? We help. We also help clients structure their brands with a fulfillment centers, producing their products. You know, if you don't know how to ship from the U.S., we help you with a fulfillment center, the right one. We give you the contacts with the suppliers and everything, right? So if you're interested in that, you feel we can help you out in your e-commerce business, then just go to roicall.com. I put the comment here in the video. ROI, like in return of investment, roicall.com and schedule a call with us, all right? Do you have any questions before I end this video, guys? Any e-commerce related questions? I'm just like super scared. This is what I was kind of like getting a bit distracted, guys, because um, I wanna show you over here. The dog, Matilda. Like, I thought she was gonna jump, man. I was like freaking scared. We have a Costa Rican flag. <laughs> oh, man. Do we have any questions, guys? Grant asks. Grant asks. Hey Sebastian, can you accommodate those who want to excel as affiliate in ClickFunnels? Um, so, does that are you referring to the working with us for affiliate? If if that's your question, then yes, we can provide the same the same uh, consultation for affiliate marketing, guide you throughout the process of building your affiliate business for sure. Um, we have a. Um, a question over here uh, do you think we can build a brand without spending a lot yes absolutely man hey, that's a big misconception you don't have to spend uh, thousands of dollars I mean tens of thousands of dollars to build a brand like I have some friends girlfriends in Costa Rica here that they're like starting their own like jewelry business and they buy cheap from China import into Costa Rica check the quality and everything they create an Instagram page right uh, they don't have a lot of followers like 3,000 but you know their friends start buying from them and they can make an extra I don't know a thousand dollars a month two thousand dollars a month and, and they literally are starting from scratch not a lot of money I mean it's it's just a big misconception you don't need a bunch of money to, to build a brand I mean what I suggest you do is that you have I don't know two thousand dollars or a thousand dollars it doesn't mean that you can't start if you don't have that amount you can start if you if you have 500 bucks because you can just build your Instagram for free right start following people start connecting with people send a free product to an influencer get a shout out so if you're scaling different products with different niches do you have to work each one with a pixel you don't need a different pixel for each for like I don't do it that way at least me I don't know if the other um, if, if, if big marketers change strategies but I just use one pixel absolutely no problem it, like I have an experience like that it gets confused or something like that for me there's no such thing honestly okay how do I know if my print on demand designs are not good and time to move on to other designs the numbers are gonna tell you man how low is your cost per click right? it's, it's, if it's like three dollars two dollars the cost per click I would pause it right if, if it's not producing sales, right? Um, if it's not making you money, it's not profitable over a decent period of time, maybe three, five days, I would just pause it. Okay, guys, that's basically it. Again, offer. If you want to work with us, go to roicall.com. We're going to guide you for the next 90 days to structure all your e-commerce business, regardless if you're a beginner and you're starting out or more advanced and you want to work with us on scale to five or four or five figures per day in sales for e-commerce, go to roicall.com and schedule a call with my team. No pressure call. We're just going to see where you are, what you're struggling with, what you need help with, and we're going to see if we can help you. If we don't think we can help you, we're not going to push you to make a commitment or a purchase or anything. No, no, nothing like that. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Hope it helped and I'll see you in the next one.